Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to do one example here so that you can use it um, to help you do the rest of the problems. So it says, practice making your own free body diagrams using the drawing tools. For each scenario, calculate the net force. So in our first example here, we have SpongeBob, he's push, pushing a box of Krabby Patties. The box weighs 110 Newtons, there's one force. He's applying a force of 98 Newtons, there's another one, to slide the box across the floor. And because it's sliding against the floor, there's a force of friction there. And they tell you that value is 10 Newtons. So you're going to use the shapes to start off here. Free body diagrams um, st sometimes start with just a dot to represent the object, or you could use a box like this. Okay, so th there's my box of Krabby Patties. I'm going to use an arrow. to show the forces acting on this box. So the first force that's given to us is weight. Weight is the pull of gravity on the object. So it, weight, your weight always pulls you down towards the center of the earth. So it's a downward force like that. And then you're gonna use a text box to label it. So this is the force of weight. So we use just a big W to represent weight. Um, and it's 110 Newtons. Okay. Put it right next to that arrow there. So there must be an upward force too because this box is just resting on, on a, we assume, the ground or a table. It's not falling through the ground. So there must be an upward force that's opposing weight. Um, that force is the normal force. So I'm going to grab my arrow. I'm going to draw an, another arrow upward. I'm going to try to make it the same size as this one as weight. Um, because those forces are balancing each other out. They're equal and opposite. And then we're going to label it. So grab a text box. And the symbol for weight is a is F. Sometimes it's just N by itself, but I usually use capital F. And then to make a subscript, you hit control, comma, capital N. Control comma again to put it back to normal. And we know that that force is also 110 newtons. It's balancing out weight. Okay, you can adjust the sizes of these text boxes here so that it doesn't pull you off the screen. All right, and now we need to work with our horizontal forces. So the applied force, he applies a force. So 98 Newtons is an applied force. We almost always draw that in a positive direction, unless it specifically states otherwise. So that's 98 Newtons. Grab a text box, label it, capital F. Control comma A, that's the symbol for applied force. Label it as 98 Newtons. Okay, throw that there. Adjust the text box. All right, and then we need our force of friction, which always opposes the motion of the object. So it goes against the applied force. So one more arrow. Now I want to make this arrow much smaller than the applied force since it's only 10 newtons. Okay, something like that. Grab a text box and then let's label it. So it's capital F, control comma, lowercase f. Force of friction is 10 newtons. Now technically friction and weight are negative forces. So you could stick a negative sign in there if you want, or you can just stick with the magnitudes of the forces without the direction. I'm trying to get this lined up there. There we go. So that's our free body diagram. Um, last thing you want to do is calculate net force. That's what that symbol means right there, net. Sigma, sigma F is net force, total force acting on the object. So vertically, those two forces cancel each other out. So we don't have to worry about those two. But then horizontally, we have 98 newtons going one way, 10 pulling the other way. 
So 10 of those newtons cancel out 10 newtons over here. So we're left with 88 is our answer here. You could put a positive sign in there because the, the positive force is winning right now. It's the bigger force. Okay, so that's what I want you to do for the rest of them. Good luck.